talk to me. I'm so mad that we didn't come sooner. We're gonna have a baby. Your traffic, I stopped traffic for you, sweetie. I don't get an epidural. You're doing uh, It's fine. Don't get too tense in between. Did the lab work come back yet? <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna let you have it. No. Yeah. I mean, really, there's no possibility. You see, with an epidural, I was lured into a false sense of security that the pain would be taken away. The baby's coming. He's saying, hey, don't want to come out. Ow. And here's the moment we've been waiting for, Jensen James Baby. He weighed 8 pounds, 9 ounces, just 1 ounce more than his older brother Austin at birth, but exactly the same length at 22 inches. We've got a couple of big boys and a girl on our hands. Have you ever wanted something so badly that you'd be willing to do anything for it? Here he is. So how do you feel? Okay. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm a little sore for you. I'm really tired. So I slept woo, on this. And it's very comfortable. And then he did that all night. Bringing our new baby home, we're officially a family of five. Being a parent changes you forever. That's all we ever wanted to be, was a family. We couldn't stop looking at him. Tomorrow I'm going to go have surgery to have my hemorrhoids removed from having babies a long time ago. I'm going to be put under um, and I'm going to be tubed. I'm afraid. I, I, I just want to come home and be with my family. Who is Nancy to me? She is my best friend, my wife, and the mother of our children. She even breastfed them all. She is the hand that created their lives and the hand that cut their umbilical cords. Everything's gonna be just fine. Nancy loves me for my heart and mind and all that I am. I love her dearly and wouldn't know life without her. We've created our own family together. I think one of the most difficult things of going through pregnancy, birth, and now this debilitating surgery for Nancy is the fact that we have no friends and immediate family here supporting us. My own brothers and father didn't even know I was pregnant for the third time. In fact, they thought we had two girls. She's not a happy camper. Nancy's stepmother sent a text message days after Jensen was born and signed it Brenda and Jim instead of love mom and dad. Aside from Jen, one of our older daughters, no family will even answer our phone calls. However, two good friends from California sent all of the kids beautiful clothes and our neighbors have physically been here for us. They even mowed our lawn, made us healthy meals for a few days, and showered us with hugs and support. But Thomas is in such great hope. 
Oh my god. Why are you shaking your head? Oh, because I thought I wasn't great help. I'm lying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I mean, you want me to tell the truth? No. Um, and so I've been able to lay back and relax a little bit here and there, and I still feel pretty bad. I'm still in pain. Ouch. Call me a martyr. Martyr. Today, um, it's kind of hard carrying around a bag of, I call it my piss purse. <laughs> I hate wrapping around my wrist and Thomas keeps thinking I'm leaving the house. <laughs> Hi, I'm up late. It's probably midnight or one o'clock in the morning and all three babies are sleeping and so is Nancy. It's hard having babies. It's, it's hard having three babies in a row. We have three babies under the age of two in diapers. The sleep schedule is crazy. At least Jensen, our new baby, he sleeps most of the day. He sleeps probably 18 to 20 hours a day. Um, Susan has refused to take naps lately, so she's up at maybe about 7 or 8 in the morning and then she goes to bed at about 9 or 10 at night. It's a little difficult. And she's going through her terrible twos. And uh, Austin takes a nice 2-3 hour nap during the day and usually winds down at about you know, 9 or 10 at night. So be honest, Nancy and I aren't exactly getting along right now, um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Thomas has been in a very bad mood for the last two days, three days since he started dieting severely. He um, has a malt in the morning of, that consists of ice, water, and protein powder. Then he'll have a fiber bar and maybe some fiber liquid. Yeah, well, I'm a man on a mission. We have so little time to ourselves these days. I have an image to uphold. I want to have a body like Mario Lopez's. He just ate two pieces of chicken last night. And a bean. Maybe one bean. So, I uh, can now see stretch marks now that my stomach has deflated, and um, I'll show you a couple of them right now. I'm not very proud of them, but it is what it is. I'm a pregnant man. Pregnant men get stretch marks.